Hey, good morning, everybody. Listen, I wanted to put this out there because I recognize a lot of traders have a difficult time understanding big market moves and when things pivot. And sometimes I find that people are having a difficult time understanding the market because they're not watching the fundamentals. So I'm going to do a quick presentation that is uh, really going to talk about why supply matters. Uh, I'm also going to do why demand matters and uh, other uh, and why storage matters because those are the three pieces that you should look at on the fundamentals. So I'm going to start with the supply side. So one thing that people, uh, traders in particular, have a problem with is they get surprised by market moves. So these surprises happen and then they are left wondering why. And for instance, back in uh, 2022, we had very, very high prices. And uh, members in our uh, company and our service we were alerting them that this this was disconnected from fundamental supply and demand and we were expecting that the market would go down now what happened was it took several months for this situation to play out but conversely when you look at periods like this this means that supply and demand is relatively balanced in some way there's not large things happening in the in the marketplace however we recently have been discussing among our members <clears throat> how this it was in fact disconnected from supply and demand and we were projecting that prices would go up so when you look at the fundamentals and when you look at um, or when you look at the technicals only, you are limited by uh, a viewpoint of those particular indicators. Now, theoretically, there is a school of thought that technicals will drive the market and every, every trader is consuming everything and that is going to be reflected in the price. I would say that is the case sometimes. However, this entire period when we were up above $7, this was disconnected from reality, from su the supply and demand. Conversely, when we were down below $2, that was disconnected from reality. So that is why watching supply trends will matter. So this will help you understand why the markets are moving, why they're moving a particular direction. I just gave an example on natural gas. Normally, traders look at just the technicals and they're useful, but commodity prices are moving fast and supply trends are slower. And at, at least most of the time, they are slower. However, that gives you a forward insight into what those markets may, uh, may have in store. Production declines over time. So when, when oil and gas produces it uh, declines over time. So new production is important to watch. So effectively, you have a supply base, the production, the base decline, which drops over time. So if you have a, if you have a chart and production will drop over time. So then to stay flat, this bridge right here, that is gonna be comprised by new production and as you can see over time that new production continues to be a larger share of the pie so new production is a uh, new production rate is important to watch and the uh, net effect of of declines versus production is key and that's one reason on our service we actually track supply and we uh, put supply, imports, exports into interactive charts so that somebody could identify. And this is the trend that we've been watching for months and we've been expecting it to come down and it has. And the reason why is because of, I'm gonna show you three charts. One is the supply decline chart. So these 
because of shut-ins does look a little a little weird but in the united states for natural gas we produce uh roughly 100 bcf a day it's slightly less than that right now but right now we have um 3.5 bcf a day every month is lost to decline so that curve that we were talking about that that um this wedge going down this is 3.5 bcf okay so that is 3.5 bcf so that means that we need to replace 3.5 bcf a day we also track new production based upon these uh, particular basins and what you can see is we've been indicating since last april that we're starting to drop on new production so the declines not it's going to catch up to us so then we will likely start to see production respond and start to decline so that it's a leading indicator and this is another chart that it does look messy because of the shut-ins that we had over the winter but you can see we're on a rate of dropping half a bcf a day each particular month and if you look we've been dropping since december 105.8 bcf then dropping each week and we've now stabilized around this 98 to 100 bcf a day but tracking that trend and understanding that declines are going to happen and that wedge and understanding how big that wedge is so that so that you can actually evaluate whether or not this gap is going to be filled or whether or not we're actually going to exceed that gap and that's when production increases so commodity prices move fast supply trends move slower production declines over time new production rates this is important and watching that engine whether it's accelerating or decelerating is super important and the net effect of decline is key so without knowing the fundamentals energy uh, traders will be surprised consistently bigger moves will happen and leave you wondering why uh, the market will leave you behind so stay on top of the fundamentals and you will trade with more confidence and conviction know when technicals are driving versus fundamentals uh, have more a, a more well-rounded approach to the energy markets and this is one thing that i look at because i have been and am a technical trader but i focus on the fundamentals solely first to get my predisposition of what may happen in the long run and that's part of the reason that we communicate to our members our subjective opinion we're not financial advisors this is not trading advice in any way shape or form you can read the disclaimers down below but the this is the reason that we can identify periods like this from the fundamentals and say wait a second this is disconnected from reality we should go up from here we should go down from here and that's that's exactly what happens in a shorter time frame technicals often drive the market so how can you stay on top of the fundamentals well there's few resources you can look at eia you can look at opec you can look at uh the texas railroad commission the oklahoma corporation commission the louisiana department of resources uh natural resources uh new mexico i forget what they call it we capture all this data and we pull it in so that we can actually digest and evaluate these objectively in these um in the supply and also in the demand so we look at the demand side uh the same way so that we can see trends when electric is growing because one of the trends that we're seeing I'm not going to talk about demand this week but one of the trends that we're seeing is we are setting higher highs when it comes to what electric is generating from natural gas so um 
you can you can scour all these uh, sources of information. You can look at various YouTubes and see what they're saying. We do have a service if you're interested. We have a lot of, of uh, nice comments from our members. We have Rogue Edge that gives you access to all of these charts, which is over 150 on supply, demand, imports, exports, storage stocks. And we cover natural gas, NGLs, uh, crude oil, refined products, electricity, and so much more. Uh, in addition to that, you get a daily email, a weekly video recap, a weekly PDF report with daily support and resistance on natural gas and crude oil. Then for those that are a little bit more serious, there's Rogue Premium where we connect with you once a month and around your plan and really guided around your experience. Plus, you get access to our Discord channel. And one of our members uh, actually just put a testimonial out there. And I loved his description because he's active in our Discord channel. And he said, energy trading is a team sport. So that's one of the reasons that we open up the Discord channel because it's not about what we think. We are not a pricing service. We are an information service that provides all of this in an effective manner so that you can bake, base your decisions on better information. So we would love to have you, um, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments whether you like this, whether you don't like this. I'm gonna try and do more of these. So, uh, so your feedback is super important. If you did like it, hit a like uh, and drop me a comment. And if you need to reach me, I am at brian at energyrogue.com. So thanks so much. Enjoy your day and good luck out there.